Welcome back to the Obscene Extreme TV again, fucking Obscene Channel 69, and we are again in Baltimore, Maryland, and we have here John from uh, Incantation. Hello, John. How are you? I'm darn good. Really killer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's nice to see you again. Uh, you know, uh, last year you played the Obscene Extreme Festival. How did you like it? Ah, it was totally awesome. It was, uh, a lot of great bands, just a good vibe. It was. Um, it, it was. Probably one of the most fun we had at a festival. Just a bunch of freaks everywhere and lots of people, you know, really into what we were doing and stuff. It was great. It, it rained a little bit during our set, but that just made it even more metal for the people that were there headbanging in the rain. That was awesome. How is it for you uh, to see the scene again being revived and, uh, you know, these metal fests coming up again uh, these years? Well, I mean, it's definitely good that people are starting to get into the stuff we do again. For yeah, for a couple of years, people weren't really into the more uh, underground raw death metal, and it seems like now people are getting more into it, getting great opportunities, a lot of fun. It's great to play this stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, can you uh, remember the, back? You know, in the old days, you know, you have many young fans that uh, never remember back in the in the nineties or, or or late eighties how it was at you know, these days. Well, what, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, the, the beginning of the scene, yeah. like you've been in the scene for so many years, oh. like back in the, you know, in the old days with the incantation, how it started, you've played with so many bands, you know, at that time. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, the scene was great back then, I think, um, I mean, it was all, it was new, you know, it was fresh, the style that we were doing was actually, like, innovative at the time and stuff like that, we were pushing the limits of extreme music, it's just that... It's it's 20 years ago, so now it's like we're old school. When we were originally, we were like, you know, um, I don't know, pioneers the word, but just like pushing forward or something like that. But I mean, I mean, the scene was great back then, and it, it, some of those aspects are, are kind of back now. I mean, it's, it's never going to be as good as it was in uh, say 91 or 92, which was really awesome time for us. But it's definitely really great to be able to have people now come out and just really appreciate the stuff especially like people now 20 years later tell me that they like you know our first album on Word to Agatha you know so much and it's unbelievable because you know it's 20 years old we were a bunch of idiots writing an album we didn't know that people were going to like it especially 20 years from now you thought okay people are going to think it's maybe they'll like it for like two years and then say okay you guys you know suck or whatever <laughs> but no it's all cool it's a lot of a lot of fun Great. Well, I would definitely want to see Incantation to play for many, many more years. But uh, do you ever think that after playing, you know, after so many years, you know, how long uh, can you stay in the scene and you personally play the music, the extreme music? Well, yeah, I mean, one day maybe I'll be too old to play. I don't know. I think, it, you know, but it, it's, it's at this point, it's I don't take the band as uh, I don't take it as a job or anything. I do. It's more out of fun. So, as long as it's fun for us and the band to do what we do, and it's like a natural expression of ourselves, and I like jam with the people I'm jam with, we'll keep doing it. And when it becomes tedious and sucky and just not having fun, then we won't do it anymore. Because, I mean, music has to be true to yourself and just do what you want to do, at least for us. And we just like to, you know, we're going to do it until we feel we have nothing else to express. Because... You know, there's, you know, we're not just going to put out albums just because, uh, you know, it's the cool industry thing to do. We're going to do albums because we have something in us that makes us want think that, you know, okay, it's time to do an album. We feel, feel that the, the death metal gods are telling us we have to play some more. But, you know, who knows how long we'll play for. It's not, uh, there's no time limit. I Trust me, I didn't think I'd be playing death metal 20 years after I worked with Gotha. I figured we'd do an album or two and then, you know, time to just live their normal life, but I'm a metal, death metal freak for life, I'm, you know, fortunately or unfortunately. It's, it's great. <laughs> it's great to hear that. And uh, um, what are the plans uh, with Incantation for this summer and for the rest of the year? Well, for the most part, we're going to hang low and just write some new material, because uh, with the lineup we have now, the vibe is so good in the band, we just want to capture it on you know, some new songs and stuff like that, so we're just going to jam out, um, you know, for most of the summer and the fall, and hopefully by winter time or something we'll be able to record, um, you know, an album and get it out sometime next year, but I'm, we're really all really pumped to, to uh, just get, 
you know, we wrote a lot of stuff. We just want to get jamming on the songs, really get a good feeling, and just uh, kill some posers. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Will you play some shows uh, late in the summer and in the autumn? And any plans for that? Well, the only thing we have is we might be doing a festival in uh, India, of all places. And um, we might be going to Puerto Rico, but we really don't want to do too many shows because it's a pain in the ass. I mean, when we're trying to write a new album, and then we have to go and practice the old songs again. It just it, it takes away. We want to get the new album out and then, you know, hopefully do some more touring or some fest or play up Scene Extreme again or Brutal Assault or any of the, the Czech fests would be great, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, one of, yeah, yeah. One of the great things that you you done you you did uh, lately was uh, playing the honor to Golgotha in its entirety in the show. How was that? Oh, it was it was a lot of fun. I mean, it's it, it's crazy. Like I think I said before, that people still give a shit about an album that we did 20 years ago. You know, it's. it's I mean, I know people consider it a classic, but it's different for me because. You know, I was a big part of the band. I wrote a lot of the music. I don't look at it as a classic. I look at it as stuff I wrote 20 years ago. But it's fun, you know, to be able to play the songs from that time, you know, that long ago. And have people, um, you know, enjoy it. And it was, it's fun to play those songs. I mean, it took a little while to relearn a couple of the ones we haven't played for a while. And, and um, the, the vocal patterns that Craig Pillar did were really a pain in the ass to learn. But it was, it was a lot of fun. It was good. And it was, people really liked it too. People were, I think, like it's good. It's good for the, the the younger kids that didn't get a chance to see us in that era. They could get somewhat of a taste of you know what it was like back then because you know we played a lot of shows back then. A lot of people seen it, and for the old people like, like us that maybe would have seen it, you know, they get a chance to relive um, you know the early '90s again. You know, <laughs> it's like a like a. Uh, I don't know if it's a, like a metal reunion or something like that, you know, a 90s, 90s reunion. Yeah, it's definitely a great idea to, you know, to, to remember the old days and to play us uh, the whole album again. Well, and it, it's fun. It's, it's, I mean, this is the thing is that I don't look at it like uh, incantation songs, like it's new or old. It's just, it's all cool, you know, it's good to play, for us it's good to play new songs, old songs, in the middle songs, it doesn't matter because... We like the, we like our songs, so it's fun. You know, if we play all old songs, sometimes that's great. We play all new songs or mix it up, whatever. It's it's just for us. It's good to just play, um, you know, play some interesting stuff. And for us to do an hour go to go Gotha album was fun. It was interesting, something different. Great. So before you do some more shows in Europe and in the Czech Republic, uh, what would you like to pass to death metal and grindcore freaks over there to Europe? Um, Just be uh, be a bunch of freaks, you know. Just do what you want. Don't be, you know, a poser or a wimp or whatever. You know, if you're into, you know, extreme music, just um, you know, be proud. Be metal and be proud. Or, or you know, if you like crappy music, then keep liking crappy music. Have a ball, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, John. Thanks a lot for the interview. All the best to you and to Incantation, and see you next summer very soon in Czech and in Europe. Cool. Thank you very much. Thanks for the interview, and you guys rock. Thanks.